Now we got your net income 68 to 50. After getting net income, what is the next procedure for NI? You have to go for what is the value of equity. What is capitalization rate? Cost of capital we can call it as capitalization rate. Seven lakh fifty minus one lakh sixty divided by your cost of equity. You will get this answer. How much you get? Thirty six lakh eighty seven. 500 for y unlevered form and x levered form levered form means they have debenture they doesn't have debenture a warm welcome to one and all this is your other sir here lecturing with yashram first grade college the temple of excellence and now we are in the session 10 and unit 3 of your financial management the topic is called capital structure now what we are going to discuss in today's session we'll go for next slide the agenda is very simple we'll go with concept along with we'll go for problem your problem number 1 ni and noi approach now two companies x and y so before we get into the problem we'll understand the concept we'll understand the question now two companies x and y we have x and we have y are in the same risk class and also identical in respect except that x limited uses debt while y limited does not see X Limited have debentures and Y Limited doesn't have debentures. Remember now, the Levered company has four lakh fifty thousand. Levered means only X we are talking about. So how much debentures they have? Four lakh fifty thousand. Debenture carrying ten percent, ten percent rate of interest. Both the companies earns twenty percent operating profit. What is the operating profit? We have twenty percent. Twenty percent should be calculated on what? Twenty percent should be calculated on your total asset. Whatever you have profit on total asset means on this you are supposed to calculate. Now assume perfect capital market, rational investors, and so on. There is tax rate of thirty five percent. What is the rate of tax? We have thirty five percent, and the capitalization rate is fifteen percent for all equity company. What is capitalization rate? Cost of capital we can call it as capitalization rate. Now we have all the information. You are required to find the value of the companies X and Y. Under NI approach, net income approach. Now compute the value of each company using NOI approach. Now each company we have to go for NOI and first we have to find out NI. Now we'll go for your normal calculation because the net income is not given in the question. Now how do we go for like? First, we'll go with EBIT, earning before interest and tax. What is your EBIT? So you have value of seven lakh fifty thousand on the twenty percent. Seven lakh fifty thousand on the twenty percent, you will get how much? One lakh fifty and one lakh fifty. It is common for X as well as Y. Once you're done with this, you have to minus interest. You have to minus what interest now? Interest is how much? I'll go for this. Your debenture value is four lakh fifty thousand. Four lakh fifty thousand. On that, we should calculate what is the interest portion? Ten percent. Four lakh fifty thousand into ten percent. It will be forty five. Thousand. Hope you are clear. Yes. Four lakh fifty thousand into ten percent. It will be forty five thousand. Now, but we take only for X, not to the Y. Why? Because in the question they have mentioned that debenture applicable only for X, not for Y. One lakh fifty minus forty five. We got one lakh five thousand. Fine. One lakh five. Your tax is thirty five percent. Thirty six seven fifty. From one lakh five thousand, how do we calculate the tax? 
1,5,000 into 35%. For the second one, 1,50,000 into 35%. If you calculate, you will get all this answer. Now, you get 36,750 and 52,500. Minus this, you will get 68 and you will get 97,500. Hope you are clear. Yes. Now, we got your net income 68,250. After getting net income, what is the next procedure for NI? You have to go for what is the value of equity. Equity value is how much? Your net income divided by your cost of equity. Net income 68,250 divided by your cost of equity is how much? 5%. Where do we get this 5%? I'll come back. So it must be 15%, not 5% because your cost of equity, it is given how much? 15%. It is already there. So we have 15% that is equity, not cost of capital because they have mentioned that for all equity. Equity means cost of equity. Now, so we have 0.15%, 0.15%. Your value divided by your percentage, value divided by your percentage. If you calculate this, your equity is how much? 4,55,000, your answer. For that, you should, if you want to find out your value under any approach, what we are supposed to do? This plus debenture, you will get value. For first one, we have debenture. For second one, we don't have debenture. Your value is 6,50. Your value is 9,5,000. Hope you are clear. Yes, 9,5,000 as per X and 6,50,000 as per Y. So we're done with your NI approach actually. So we'll go for next. Continuation of NI, Y unlevered form and X unlevered form. Now, EBIT, one minus three divided by cost of equity. One lakh 50, we have EBIT, yes. One minus tax is 0 0.35, yes. After calculating divided by cost of equity, you will get how much for Y? you will get 6,50,000. Hope you are clear. Yes. The same thing if you go for Y, for X, value of unlevered form, 6,50,000. Along with that, we have 4,50 of debenture also. What is the percentage? 0 0.35. 0 0.35, your tax, if you calculate, you will get 8,7,000. 500. Hope you are clear. So this is all your calculation under NI approach for Y unlevered form and X levered form. Levered form is they have debenture, they doesn't have debenture. Hope you are clear. Yes. Now we'll go for problem number two. From the following information of company, find out the market value of the shares and market value of the firm. Total investment is 50 lakh. Net operating income, operating income is how much? 7,50,000. Cost of equity, when firm uses no debenture, 14%. When the firm uses 8% debenture, 20 lakh. When the firm uses 10% debenture, it is 30 lakh at 18%. Hope you are clear. Yes. Now we'll go first one, NI approach. NI approach is what? NI divided by cost of equity. What is the NI? Your net income they have given, it is 7,50,000. Cost of equity is how much? As per the first one, it is 14%. 750 divided by 14%, you got 53 lakh. 57,143, see? 7,50,000 divided by 0.14, you got 53,57,143. What is the value of the firm? You have to add debenture, but when the firm uses no debenture, then what happens? It will be zero. This plus this, you get answer of 53,57,143. Hope you are clear. Yes. Now, 
the second part will be your using debenture your using debenture now when the firm uses 8% debenture of rupees 20 lakh now will come for this ebit minus interest divided by cost of equity so when the firm uses 8% debenture of rupees 20 lakh at 16% equity now if it is 16% equity what happens now we'll go for second one 7,50 will be your EBIT and interest. Do you have interest? Yes. So how much? It will be 20 lakh into 8%. Now it will be 20 lakh into 8%. You will get 1,60,000. 750 minus 1,60 divided by your cost of equity you will get this answer. How much you get? 36,87,500. Now, plus you have debenture. Yes, add both. You will get value of the form 56,87,500. Hope you are clear. What is the value of the form? Find out the value of equity. Add debenture. You will get value of the form. Now, and the third one, if you go 10% debenture and 18% equity. What is the debenture value? 30 lakh. We'll go for that. Now, 10% debenture means your 30 lakh into 10%, you will get around 3 lakh as interest. EBIT is 7 lakh 50 minus 3 lakh. It will be your how much you will get? 4 lakh 50,000. What is the equity? It is 18%. So it will be how much? 25 lakh you will get. 7 lakh 50 divided by 3 lakh divided by minus 3 lakh divided by 0 0.18. You will get 25 lakh. Now, your 25 lakh you got. Do you have dimension in this problem? Yes. 25 lakh plus 30 lakh, you will get around 55 lakh as your answer. This is the value of the form. So there are three things they have given. If there is no debenture, if there is 8% debenture, if there is 10% debenture, what will be the value of the form? We have done for all three easy calculation and I'll go for all the slides so that you can take screenshot. So this will be your problem number one, your solution part, your continuation of solution, problem two, your solution part, your solution part two, solution part three. So this is all about your today's session. Hope you understood what is NI approach and what is NOI approach. So please work out this properly for your examination purpose. Thank you.